Your mommy loves you, Albert and Alfred. I love you so much. I miss you so much. I live every day thinking about you. There's no day that goes by without me thinking of you. But I know that God will help us get reunited soon because he sees the truth. Rohan, you pitched the story uh, involves a, a nasty divorce, kind of takes that term to the next level. Uh, a fugitive from justice, local congressman Chris Smith, the president of the United States. What do you got? I chased this to Plainsboro where I met up with Bindu Phillips. Now, she's a woman that lived in Plainsboro for the past 20 years. Uh, her twin boys were born there. They lived there their whole life. Uh, they're United States citizens along with her and her ex-husband. Now, her ex-husband in 2008 was being investigated by the FBI. He was released from his job at Citigroup, uh, so he decided to take a family vacation. We went during the Christmas holidays of our children. So after reaching India, he separated the children from me deceptively, and then he abandoned me in India, refusing any form of contact. I was not able to communicate with them or see them. He enrolled them into school, gave them strict orders, for her not to be able to see them. Now, she was on a visa, so she spent the next four months trying daily to go and see the kids. I mean, she had not been separated for one day. So she came back to her home in New Jersey. Goes inside, every single belonging in the entire house was cleaned out. Now, they had lived there for 15 years. All her pictures, all her personal belongings, they were all shipped to India. Nothing, there was no, no pictures of my children, um, none of my belongings, none of my educational certificates, it was like, an empty home. Both the cars were sold. He had not paid the mortgage for months. The lights were off. She had nothing. He cleaned out all her personal bank accounts as well. So she had a good friend uh, that lived a couple uh, doors down. They let her stay there while she was trying to figure this stuff out. She got a job and she's been using all that money to try to contact her kids for the past six years to let them know that she cares and loves them. The husband, she's alleging that he's brainwashing them and telling them that she's abandoned them and he's keeping them in India. They're in school. I mean, they're American kids. They were born here. The state of New Jersey granted her full custody of the children and they they sent uh, letters over to India and the government of India to tell them to bring the children back. At the very first hearing, uh, the judge, Honorable Judge Weisberg, he had passed an order that I should be able to communicate with my children every day so that my children won't be alienated from me. Now, the problem here is that he's also filed for custody of the children in India. So this is all marred up in court. Um, the Plainsboro Police Department, along with the FBI, have uh, warrants out for the husband's arrest uh, if he were to ever come back here. And, and that's where we're sitting right now. Well, here's the part I don't understand. Why did she ever leave India without her kids? Why would a mother abandon her kids? She didn't abandon them. She, she was on a visa, a visitor well, visa. Well, the, she, there's, it, there's the law and there's being a parent. Some parents would never, no matter what the law is, then she leave their kids unless, back it was, unless they were wearing handcuffs. No, 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 she's traveled back to try to see them multiple occasions. She's actually started a website. To try to see them, right? But she hasn't Do seen you understand them. what, 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 what yeah. maternal and paternal things kids. mean in <laughs> India? All right, stop, stop, stop. Ronica, you've covered a lot of divorce stories. I mean, what does it sound like to you? It, well, it sounds like the worst one I've ever heard, but you know, to Sabil's point, I, I think a lot of mothers would agree. And as th that's the heart-wrenching thing about this story is that you feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. We're gonna see how it plays out in court. I'm gonna continue to follow it with Bindu. Hopefully this act will, uh, you know, bring some of these kids back and I'm gonna try to find some of the more, right, more of the good families. story, Rohan, well told. May God be with you always and I will never give up on you. I'm gonna try my best to be reunited with you as soon as I can.